So a radar imaging system looks obliquely in order to get echoes back that are roughly in proportion to the distance across the ground. This wouldn't happen if we looked directly below us at the nadir. The one challenge here though is that we've made an assumption that the ground is approximately flat so that the echoes coming back, the time delay of those echoes is roughly in proportion to the distance along the ground. If our assumption is not correct and the ground actually has some topography, this introduces some key problems for us. The first is that some parts of the signal are not returned. Those parts that are obscured by the topography mean that there is no signal. This is what we call radar shadow. And it's different from optical shadow because it's not just poorly illuminated. There is absolutely no signal coming back from the region behind the, obje the objects. It's obscured, so there is no echo, and it's complete radi radar silence in those parts of the image. The other thing that happens is that the, the features on the ground are not in their correct geographic location. The top of this little mountain, for example, should be geographically located directly beneath it onto some reference surface. But because we are measuring the signals coming back as a function of range from the sensor, what we find is that they are projected onto their reference surface in a location which is not the proper geographic location, but is a projected range distance. In an image, this tends to lead to what's called foreshortening, so that one side of the topography will get squashed up. For things like mountains or buildings, it makes it look like they're leaning over or leaning towards the sensor system. In some cases, when you're close enough that here, for example, the top of this mountain is actually closer to the radar system than the near side bottom of it, is that the top of this mountain is actually mapped to a location nearer than the near side of the mountain. Not only is it in the wrong place geographically, it's actually completely flipped over. And this is what we call layover. So objects like steep mountains actually look like they're leaning over on themselves. For discreetly tall objects like buildings or individual trees, in an image this would look like they're actually leaning over and you would see the entire length of that object scattered onto the surface in front of it. 